hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you how to create a user accounts in ASP.NET using membership provider with the help of create user wizard controls this is a part 2 in part 1 I have shown how to install ASP.NET membership database schema in SQL server and here we got the control user wizard let's enter username is Charan password is create user And we got a message complete your account has been successfully created let's switch over to my database we'll check the newly created user is inserted in our table or not I just logged into my SQL server management studio I'm expanding the databases I'm expanding ASP.NET DB database tables I'm browsing the table dbo.aspnet underscore users table right click that one select top thousand rows see notice here the username Charan is added for this video tutorial I'm creating a new project go to file new project I'm choosing ASP.NET web application and the .NET framework 4.6.1 the project name is membership provider click OK and I'm choosing templates web forms click OK and here we got our project created successfully membership provider let's close this window open solution explorer and notice here in this membership provider contains a default folders and ASPX pages and config files I'm creating a new web form page to create the users right click the membership provider project name add new item I'm choosing web form add user click add and here we got our newly created page add user.aspx now in the source page between form and due tag I'm adding go to toolbox login controls create user wizard double click that one after adding the create user wizard control the next step is we need the connection string properties go to server explorer right click the data connections add connection the server name is user express select or enter database name and notice the first one ASP.NET DB is a database which I have created in my previous video if you don't know how to install ASP.NET DB membership provided database schema into SQL server at the end of the video we'll get a link of that I'm choosing ASP.NET DB test connection succeeded click ok ok and notice here asp.net db.dbo connection is added under data connections 
but we need the data source connection of this ASP.NET DB. Right click this one, go to properties, choose this data source under connection, open solution explorer, open web.config file and here the connection string is automatically added but I need to change this connection string data source after adding the connection string now we need the membership providers configuration just remove this comment after clear tag add name name ASP.NET SQL membership provider type system dot web dot security dot SQL members ship provider and here the s is small one connection string name our connection string name is a default connection and the last attribute is the application name The application name is a user application. After adding the membership providers, the next one we need the profile providers. Let's clear this one also, the comment. After the clear tag, copy this, paste here, instead of SQL membership provider, profile the type is system dot web dot profile dot SQL profile provider and the connection string name and application name both I am not changing anything after adding the membership providers, profile providers and role manager providers, the main important thing is we need to add the membership default provider. If you don't add the default provider, it will rise an error. So our default provider name is ASP.NET SQL membership provider. Just pasting this here. That's it, we have configured everything. Go to add user.aspx page. Let's run this project on Google Chrome. And here we got the control user with app. Let's enter username is Charan. Password is Create user. And we got a message complete your account has been successfully created. Let's switch over to my database. We'll check the newly created user is inserted in our table or not. I just logged into my SQL Server Management Studio. I'm expanding the databases. I'm expanding ASP.NET DB database, tables, I'm browsing the table dbo.aspnet underscore users table, right click that one, 
select top thousand rows see notice here the username charan is added that's it if you like this video please leave your valuable comment share this video and please subscribe my channel catch you on my upcoming videos